Okay, nope. So, oh, hello. You want to be in the video? No, no, no. No DIY today, guys. She doesn't want to leave. Welcome back if you've been there already. So in today's video, we're gonna use some contact paper, which is like an adhesive paper, to create some storage, like storage boxes. So in my video, I've used small boxes because I don't really have space to use bigger box. But if you need some some big boxes to store like shoes or scarves or whatever in your wardrobe then don't hesitate to take bigger boxes like you know the the big uh, delivery boxes and if you watch until the end of this video you're gonna see how I did not finish one of the box on camera because my camera died yay which is oh, it was this little guy there so this is a cereal box and I basically covered it in in contact paper and then I folded the sides there and then you just need to close this either with a ribbon or something by doing two holes or just by sticking it with glue or with double side tape double sided tape or anything and then you have basically a present wrap you don't need to wrap your present you just have the box already made and you put your present in it for your friend and it looks really nice so this is what I didn't have time to finish so you're gonna see half of it Basically, I put the adhesive paper on the back and then I cut the paper, the extra paper, because I left a bit on the side, up to the corner in diagonal like this. And then I folded it here, there, there and inside. And after, I basically did the exact same thing on the other side, except that I made sure that I had enough uh, paper on the side to overlap so it doesn't like, cr create a gap here in, the, in between. And the same, I did it a bit longer here at the back, so it covers the whole like mix of the different paper from different sides. So this is like a nice clean end. So this is the one that is going to be missing and I'm really sorry about that. So in this video, I decided to take, like I mentioned, smaller boxes because that's what I would use more in this flat because I don't really have much space. So I used this which is like one of these rounded boxes that I used in previous things. I used a cotton bud box. I've used, okay, this one. You might be guilty of having it after Easter because this is a Ferrero Roche box. So I just created like a, like a nice banner on top of it. So the sides are see-through so I can either use it to offer something to someone or if I want to just keep it for my personal stuff like elastics uh, for your hair or anything like cotton buds, cotton pads, whatever you want in your bathroom for instance. We've also created this um, stack protection for tables to put your glass on top or your mug or something. So I've created nine out of a protection bubble wrap thing. So check it out in the video. Then I also used this previous candle box and I just wrapped the top bit so it's a bit nice and I can reuse the box for something else. But as I mentioned, you can use different boxes. So for instance, if you're using these Pringles boxes and you wrap it up, then you can just put spaghetti inside and just reuse it all over again in your kitchen, for instance. So basically, with contact paper, you can do everything and anything. You can even do furniture like I've done with this one. This is contact paper as well. Okay, so now let's jump in the video. Grab your contact paper if you have, or adhesive paper, or whatever you have. Scissors, um, measure tape, or whatever you need. Here we go. Just pick up a few boxes that you want to put stuff in, but they're not pretty enough. I also picked up this, which is like a, you know when you order stuff and they put this protection, like it's like kind of a mousse, like, I don't know how it's a polystyrene mousse kind of thing. So I'm gonna try to put, to do some protection to do, to put glasses and tables and stuff. So I already have these that are quite similar to what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try to create um, one. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to create nine square ones out of this, but let's see how it goes. What you're gonna need, obviously, is contact paper, cutters. I'm also gonna use a permanent marker for one or two things that I, I have ideas for. Let's start. Let's say I have this and I want to use it either to put some stuff by myself at home, like to tidy up some stuff, or if I want to do a present to someone, then I just prepare the box in advance and I just put my stuff in and offer it like that. This is contact paper, so it's like an adhesive paper that you can get on Amazon. You have like color ones, you have marble effect, which is the one I took, or you have wood effect, or you have patterns, well, it basically exists in every possible way. Here we go. So usually you have a grid at the back. In this case, unfortunately, the grid is not everywhere like I was hoping it would be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a ruler. Where is it done? So, basically my idea for this box is just to have something like this in the middle all around and leave the transparent side on, the, on each of the sides. So I'm just gonna put it like maybe eight centimeters okay <laughs> something like this excuse me why are you in the middle like this what do you want from me so I'm gonna turn the box and I'm gonna put it more or less in the middle and then with a the cut I'm gonna where the box is supposed to stop there so I can open it. I think I'm gonna use a roller. Here we go, hallelujah. Next. So for this project, I'm gonna use the protection paper, you know, the bubbly one. And this, and we're gonna try to create some protection for to put glasses on table so first step is to see if this would fit Look. yay perfect size okay so that would be for one side I think this is gonna be tricky because this is this keeps rolling. Ah. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? I cleaned the table before and now it's it's full of hair of the cat. Again. Thanks cat. Okay, so You can even just leave one side and use it as a mouse pad if you want. That would work as well. So peel. There we go. Then I can put this. I have to say this paper stinks. It smells like chemicals a lot. And then up we apply the paper. And done. Now we want to cut this. So we have our second super TV star today that doesn't want to leave because the camera is there. 
Oh yeah. Another project. I got this box from my sister. It's like one of these uh, really, really nice smelling candles. So I thought I could actually reuse it to offer something else to someone because it can it can be like a candle but it can also be like cookies, it can also be anything. So I'm just gonna leave the bottom like this because I quite like this pink color. And I'm just gonna put something on top of there because okay this is not really the brand I want to go for. So I'm just gonna do this part. I'm gonna do the top bit first. So I'm gonna just cut one of these squares. And I'm gonna put it on top. I took a bit more than just a square because then I can go a bit on the sides. Okay, so let's put the top bit first. Okay, so now we've put the top bit there, we're gonna put the rest. Uh, we'll need quite a lot, so I'm gonna need one, six, here we go. So I'm gonna need up to here, so I'm gonna cut there. the box Now we put all the sides. Just gonna cut this one. For the top bit, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut like this in diagonal up to the corner here. One, and then up to the corner there. Two. This goes inside. Done. Then I'm gonna do the same here, so I'm gonna cut up to the corner in diagonal here and cut to the corner. Ah, no, don't stick together. No, 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 no. Yes. Thank you. And then cut to the corner in diagonal here. And this part goes inside as well. Once again, and then the last bit, and this last bit goes inside as well. And this is it. Then you can put the bottom back in. Now you have a nice marble box instead. And then you can put the note on top of something, put some present in it, and ta-da! Or you can just keep it for yourself and put stuff for your home. That's up to you. <laughs> then I'm gonna do this one. Now I'm gonna cover this in marble and because the top is rounded, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So what I'm gonna do instead is that I'm gonna use a permanent marker and try to color it 
I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll see. Look at this. So the rest of what we didn't use before is actually perfect to go all the way around this one. So I guess we're just gonna use this. This is gonna go on top of that and we have an early bug. So. Okay, so if you take, for instance, a cereal box, if you take bigger box, and you're cutting out this piece, you're cutting out these two pieces on the sides. Here we go. So then you can just wrap it up with the same paper that we did. Again, you're folding here two sides. And you fold this here, and then you can either do two holes there and do a note, or you can just stick it here like that. Then you have like a a present, like if you if you suck at, at a wrapping present, for instance, then you have your present done. We've cut all the three bits that I showed you, so the side and the back. You leave this one there, and then we're gonna put this on. So then we're going to do the same that we did before, you cut here in diagonal, up to the corner. Same on the other side here. So the corner is here, so I'm going to cut in diagonal here. There we go. So this goes inside. Now I'm going to fold it like this. For the bottom I'm going to do the same. So cutting here in diagonal and cutting here in diagonal up to the corner. Then I'll wrap this here. So then I'm gonna put this side. I'm gonna cut the corner here up to the corner here in diagonal again. to the corner here and diagonal again. Look. Here we go. So if we recapitulate what we did today with this, which was the contact paper, I had a roll of two meters and with these two meters we did a box to do presents for someone a box to tidy up stuff, like for instance you could put rice inside and put it in your kitchen. Then a nice box that you can either use to offer something to someone or keep it to put like your elastics or like whatever, really whatever, like chocolates, anything. Then you have this one that you can use for presents to someone. We did this to protect uh, your table when you put glasses on top. We have nine of these. I hope you enjoyed that and if you like this video please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up also if you like my content in general don't hesitate to subscribe you can just click the subscribe button big red button you can't miss it right down below and if you click on the ring bell sign you're going to receive notifications every time I'm posting a video so if you want to stay up to date then click and if you want to follow me on Instagram as well you can find my Instagram in the description so check it out and I hope to see you in the next video. In the meantime, be crazy, be creative, and be you. Ciao!